Hi. In today's guide, I'm going to show you how to let others remotely control and view a servo motor through a game on surrogate.tv. If this sounds like something you'd want to try yourself, you've come to the right place. Servos allow you to build all kinds of interactive games and experiences. Here you can see some of the things we've built so far, all based on this servo example. We go through the steps quite fast, so you probably need to pause the video if you try to follow along. There is also a written version of this tutorial linked in the description below. The code is also on our GitHub page. In addition to your Raspberry Pi and a camera, you need to have a servo motor and some jumper cables. Also, you should have our image installed on your Raspberry Pi and a new game created. Then make sure to watch our guide on how to set up a remote SSH connection to your Raspberry Pi inside VS Code. To get the latest SDK updates, use the git pull command. Most of the popular small hobby servos should work fine with our today's code, but if you are going to use a larger one or add much load to it, you'd probably want to add an external power supply also. I'm going to use a MG996R servo myself. Let's start by connecting the servo to the Raspberry Pi. To supply power, I connect the red wire to a 5V pin and the brown one to the ground pin. Then I connect the orange position control wire to the GPIO pin number 17. After this, you can make sure that everything works by executing the servo pi file inside the devices folder. Now you should see some logs and the servo should move back and forth. If not, double check your wiring. Now let's create a game around this setup. Inside the games folder, create another folder called servo game and create a game.py file inside it. To change the file, which is executed when the game is running in the background, change the controller RPI service file accordingly and run the setup script. To see that the game itself works, I create a custom joystick class in the game.py file that just logs the X coordinate whenever it gets player input. This is done by creating a custom joystick class and overriding the handle coordinates with some logging. Then to use this class in my game, I create a game class and register my custom joystick when the game initializes. When I'm doing my development, I like to split the terminal window so that I can see the logs and run commands at the same time. This can be done by selecting terminal and then split terminal. To open the logs, I use journalctl command and to restart the game after some code changes, I use systemctl command. Now when I start the camera preview from the dashboard and press WSD keys, I should see some inputs coming in. Whenever I make changes, I first save the file with Ctrl S and then I'll use systemctl restart command to put those changes into use. Now let's make the joystick class to move the servo with the input. First, I'll create a servo object to the joystick class and set the pin to 17, which is connected to the servo's orange wire. Then I'll add a command to set the servo's rotation speed to match the input. After saving the file and restarting the game, I can already test that the servo moves as expected. To improve the game a bit, I'll make the servo to always reset to the middle position whenever a player disconnects and input reset is automatically called. Then I'll add a servo stop command to the shutdown method, which is called when the game code is stopped or it is restarted with the systemctl command. To finish the game code, I'll add an optional speed adjustment value and some helpful logs to follow the game from the terminal window. Now the basic game is ready, and it can be expanded to do whatever you want. More servo commands can be found from the documentation page, which is linked in the description. You can find more complex game examples that use servos inside our games folder. That's it for today. I hope you find this guide helpful. 
it was a bit different than the previous one, so please tell us in the comments below what you think. Also, if you have ideas for the future guides, I'd like to hear them. Remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. You're gonna be able to shoot us right now. There's a real paintball gun, but yeah, they hurt really bad. Oh. <laughs> 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 you were saying?